trending over on TikTok. It's the viral sensation created by Dr. Whitney Bowe. But today I wanted to pick skin cycling apart for you and tell you what I think when it comes to this approach to actives in skincare. Now, the concept is designed to help those who've been struggling with actives. Perhaps they've been trying to combine things together and finding it's made their skin irritated and it's led to barrier dysfunction and unhappy skin. And that part of it, I totally get. So what is skin cycling, first of all? So it's where you use a four-day cycle on repeat. And that four-day cycle involves day one, your retinoid, day two, your exfoliant, and days three and four, your moisturizer. I see three main issues with this approach, and I'll explain. Firstly, this approach weights your exfoliant step, which will usually be something like an AHA or a BHA, equally with your retinoid. Now, in my view, these two things are simply not equal. On the one hand, we have a retinoid with oodles of scientific data telling us how they work, showing us their benefits in a myriad of different situations, whether it's with acne, melasma, photo damage. And we know exactly how they work. We know all about the complexities of retinoid science. These molecules go into our skin, they bind to retinoid receptors, which have specific actions on our cellular DNA. And they influence probably hundreds of different aspects of skin function. So in my view, their importance is up here. Over here, we have exfoliants. These are blunt tools. If we think about the retinoid as being the key in the lock, to me, the exfoliant is like the battering ram. So you can get through the door. It's a lot more elegant using the retinoid. So to weight them equally, seven applications of retinoid versus seven applications of exfoliant is a mistake. Issue number two, is that retinoid benefits are in direct proportion to their frequency of use, meaning that if you use them more often, you get better results. And this is certainly the case when we look at acne sufferers. We want our patients to be using retinoids as often as possible. Now, if you're struggling, and by definition to me, if you're thinking about skin cycling, it means you've struggled in the past because otherwise, why would you even consider it? then adding an exfoliant into the mix is simply the wrong way to look at this. You should put your exfoliant aside, so much less important, and give single-minded attention to your retinoid. And essentially, if you're having a problem using a retinoid every day, it suggests to me that you're probably going in at the wrong strength. Better to start with a much more gentle formula, get your frequency up, and then think about titrating up potency. Remember, frequency before potency. When you think about how retinoids work, the importance of the frequency of use just makes sense. If retinoids are switching on the manufacture of the building blocks of our skin, molecules like collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid, if you think about building a house, how often do you want your builders to come? Tuesdays and Thursdays or every day of the week? Which do you think is gonna get you a better house built quicker? At the end of the day, I think the work here is around education on retinoid use and how to get through the initial period of retinization, how to support skin barrier function with use of ingredients like ceramides and niacinamide, the importance of focusing singularly on that ingredient group and avoiding the use of other actors that potentially could stack up and lead to skin reaching its threshold sooner than we want. That's the way to get results. Um, and I think at the end of the day, that's where I see the weakness in skin cycling. I won't be recommending skin cycling to my patients anytime soon. If you're struggling with retinoid use or combining actives, my suggestion to you would be to give your attention to your retinoid first and foremost, frequency first, then potency. And once you've accommodated to using that on a daily basis, or even five to six times a week, that's still gonna make a big impact on your skin versus two times a week. Then you can think about adding in additional actives if you feel that you haven't reached your goals. But in general, rather than necessarily bring in other actives, I tend to think about titrating up your retinoid to maximize the potential for that to make a difference to your skin.